All right, hey everybody. Um, I want to briefly thank Amanda who's holding my phone uh, because she was literally driving by and let me stop her to hold the camera. Uh, so thank you, Amanda. Um, for those who know me, I've, I've shared my testimony before and uh, I'm in a really uh, hard spot to share it now because this is where it happened. But I wanted to share it uh, partly uh, to let you guys see this area, but then partly to glorify God who can who can take something so terrible that happened in a place and turn it into something so beautiful. Um, so when I was 12 years old, I, I lived right here and my, my bedroom was right here. And my biological father, uh, whose name was Lenny, uh, would, would horrifically abuse us uh, right in a house that used to be right here. And I remember I was in this room with my two brothers and my sister's room was next door and, and he was... He was hurting my sister, and I remember seeing her body fly out and hit a wall and, and just fall to the ground. Um, she laid there lifeless, and I was terrified. And I remember whispering to my brother, Paul, Paul, we got to go stop him. And Paul was terrified. We were kids, and this was a, a grown man. Uh, so uh, Paul told me no. He, he was just too scared. And I remembered I heard about Jesus and God, and I didn't know what to believe with all that stuff. But I... In that moment, I just needed something. I, I knew I wasn't enough, and so I prayed. I said, God, if you exist and you're up there, get us out of this place. And about 10 to 15 seconds later, I felt this surge of strength, and I got up out of the bed and, and this courage, and I started walking step by step, and my sister's room was here, and, and I got to the edge of the hallway. Lenny had, had grabbed her hair and pulled her out into the hallway where I couldn't see her anymore. And I remember seeing him standing over her, uh, trying to, to bring her back to consciousness. And, and something, that, that surge of, of, of courage, something in me just boiled over and I shouted, stop it! And Lenny took, turned and looked over his shoulder and looked right at me and, and shouted at Brianna, go to your room. And so she got up and came back to her room and uh, he beat me for probably two to three hours that night. And it was, it was the worst night of my life, and I, I had I hurt so bad inside uh, that I wet the bed that night, and uh, I remember hiding my underwear underneath all the dirty clothes because I was terrified Lenny would find them, and he found them anyway. And I remember he, I was in the kitchen getting cereal and putting sugar in the cereal when he found him, and he threw the underwear at me, and I, I ducked and spilled the sugar. Uh, he came over and started stomping on my head. And I had a, uh, I wheezed and I passed out, and uh, it turned out I had a blood clot, a concussion, and amnesia. Uh, so that's what the the scar in my head's from. For those of you who wonder, my army buddies, it's not a it's not a war wound. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, two years later, I was in a foster home, and we were in and out of foster homes our whole life. Uh, Lenny had 13 criminal convictions uh, for mostly child abuse. But I opened up a Bible. Uh, that my foster mother had given me and she left it on my windowsill and I opened it to Matthew chapter 24 and it talked about it was Jesus talking and and he was talking about coming back and I was like wait a second <laughs> this guy like lived 2,000 years ago what do you mean he's coming back that made no sense to me uh, and and so I I kept reading and before I knew it I had a vision of laying right back here in this bed and looking out of that door and God reminded me of the prayer that I prayed that night uh, two years later, it, just like it, it happened that same night, he reminded me of, of praying that God would get us out of this home. And I knew in that moment that God was real. I knew in that moment that that all of this uh, happened for a reason. And my brothers and sister were out of that home. And I read every word and read that night in the Bible. And uh, I just remember... In that moment, I knew 100% that God's real and that he loves me and that I don't understand his ways, but there's a reason for everything he does. And so the reason uh, I wanted to make this video was because a lot of people don't believe in God. And, and I certainly didn't until that happened. And the reason uh, I, I want to share with you the reason that you may not, and, and it's because God, God lets you not believe in him. In, in John chapter 12, uh, God had spoken from heaven. Jesus was talking, and long story short, God spoke from heaven. And 
The Bible says that some people believed, but some said it was just thunder. God speaking from heaven, and some people said this, it was just thunder. The, the thing is, God always gives us the option to say it was just thunder. And, and I'm hopeful that my story will be, you know, another, if nothing else, will be another voice from heaven that you have the opportunity to believe in and not just say it was thunder. And not say, hey, you know, that was something else. Uh, but that you would believe just like I have. And the reason uh, that I'm hopeful you find that love is, is exactly what Psalm 63 says. God's steadfast love is better than life itself. And you won't know that until you believe. Anyway, thank you again, Amanda. Absolutely. Thanks, everyone. I hope this blesses you. Uh, I'm going to stay here for a little bit and worship and turn this into a, a hopefully a blessed place. But God bless. Love you guys.